Hey guys, guess what? There are five steps that any, any, and I promise you this is fact, there are five steps that any business can take to 10X your business. I call it the 10X business fast lane. Now, a lot of you, a lot of you that are in my VIP, uh, that are that have taken the masterclass, or a lot of you that's coming to the, uh, the live training webinar, uh, you're, you either know this or you're going to learn this, right? So you're in a position where you want to grow your business because you enjoy what you do. Uh, it helps you. It puts money in your pocket, gives your family a better lifestyle because we all want the same thing. We want, we want time freedom. We want financial freedom and we want lifestyle freedom, the freedom to be able to do what we want when we want, right? And not be obligated to a job. But unfortunately for a lot of you, uh, you created a business, well, you named it a business, but you've actually created a job for yourself and uh, you call it a business. And so you've got a lot to learn. The reason you're burned out, stressed out, tired, mentally frustrated, uh, can't get the right crew, not making enough money, doing all this work uh, is because you've, you've actually created a job for yourself and not a business. And uh, so I made this channel to try to educate you guys on how to create a business that works as opposed to a job that's just frustrating. Uh, we don't want to be the ones that's always doing all the work. We cannot grow a business that way. The reason I know this and I guarantee you this is true because you can never be in two places at one time. Uh, and so I'm going to teach you five things that'll work for you. Just five. Uh, there could be as many as 10, 20, but I'm just going to teach you five things that I know and trust that work for me. And so hopefully these five things will help you uh, to grow your business, advance your business, and, and get you out of that burnout stage where, or, or the stage where a lot of you guys are going to go through now where the phones aren't ringing, you're not making enough money, uh, and, and so you're in a really, really bad spot. But I'm going to teach you five things uh, to where you can use these things, apply these things today, and they can help you to start making money. And so we're going to talk about how to 10x your business and get into the success fast lane. Uh, so here we go. Here we go. Because I can guarantee you that a lot of you, a lot of the stuff you're going to see, you don't know, uh, and it will change your business. And so, but you've got to get familiar with this. You've got to get a system and process that can create and put this and implement this into your business. And so that now, from now on, you're not doing all the work. From now on, your business is about uh, systems and processes and not about you. Because I don't want the business to be about me, okay? And, and you don't want the business to be about you. As much as you enjoy saying your business on an entrepreneur, that's cute, uh, but that's not going to make you successful. Uh, processes and systems are what make you successful. So let's talk about it, all right? So I'm going to give you five things. I promise you, only five right? Five things, right? That can put your business into what? Into the, the business fast lane, right? And so I'll give you five things right here. Here we go. First one, in order for your business to be successful in 10X and get into the business fast lane, you must generate at a very high volume leads, not just any leads, premium leads from customers who are pre-qualified to do business with you from customers who's not gonna be nagging you about price and service and arrival time. And, and you wanna get those things right, but if you get the right customer, they understand these things, right? They understand there might be an accident and, they, and you're, you're five minutes behind, right? You don't want the customers that's calling five minutes before you arrive panicking, right? So you wanna get the right customers who are willing to do business with you and pay you what you're worth, right? So we wanna get leads, we wanna get premium leads, that means our marketing's got to be on point and we have to be targeting the right customers, not the wrong customers. The wrong customers are frustrating phone call, frustrating move, frustrated crew, frustrated day for everybody. And you don't want to have that, right? So trust me when I say you got to get the right leads, you got to 10 extra leads and you got to get the premium leads to call you, right? Uh, secondly, and, and leads are just, just people that's looking for your service, who's already looking for you. Right, who's interested in what you have to offer. And so the next thing we're gonna you gotta get right, we're gonna talk about is lead conversion, aka your sales. Your sales has to be on point, otherwise, you're not gonna be in business long because I don't know if you know or not, but business is about revenue, right? And I'll take it one step further. It ain't just about revenue, it's about profit. 
You have to have a profitable business. You don't want to run this business off of credit. A, a, a lot of uh, people I've spoken with uh, over the past year using credit or using debt to go get a truck and go get this and get that. And I'm going, wait a minute, that makes no sense. This is a service business. You don't want to fund a service business off of debt. You fund it off of debt. That's a real payment you have to pay back. You haven't gotten one customer. Don't go through that process. That's hard to recover from. And I wouldn't advise it for anybody. I would just tell you, hey, instead of you funding the business, let the business fund itself, right? Let the business grow and make money, and then you go out and buy the things you need. Make sense, right? So prove the business concept first, right? So after leads, lead conversion, which is your sales, now you got to get your sales right. Your script's got to be on point. Your verbiage got to be on point. You got to make money on the phone call, right? So, and, and there's a language that goes with that. And I teach it uh, in my masterclass. I also teach it, I'm going to teach it in the webinar. Uh, so got to get those things right. Third thing is this. You got to get your reviews right. I'm not a big fan of reviews, but it, it doesn't matter because customers love them. And so even though I'm not a big fan of them because I think covers, uh, customers are smart and they leverage them against you. <laughs> uh, and I've seen it done. I've had it done to me. Uh, it's not fun. It's not pretty. So I would like one day to be able to get reviews off of the internet, but hey, it is what it is. So reviews, you've got to get these reviews correct because customers trust other customers and they're not going to read your good reviews. They're going to read your bad reviews. You have 49 good reviews, one bad review. What do you think they're going to read? The 49 or the one? They're going to read the one bad one. So we got to get the reviews correct, right? Now, once we get the reviews correct, here's where a lot of you guys miss. Referrals, what do I mean by that? Th that your job, John's job, Nancy's job should never end with John's job or Nancy's job. It should always lead to a new job. A lot of you guys, you walk out the house, get a review, tell the customer bye, and you never speak to them again. Uh, your job, that job that you just performed should be the beginning of another job. When you end one, it should lead you into another. You should be capturing referrals, right? And there are ways you can do it, put it into your paperwork, incentivize it. There are, there are some things I teach. But again, you have to be teaching. I'm sorry, you have to be getting referrals. And the very last thing, a lot of you don't think about, this is important. Customer retention. What does that mean? That means, hey, John, if you do business with me, with my moving company, then I'm going to make it so good to you. The experience is going to be so awesome that you're not going to want to do business with anybody else. I'm going to retain you as a customer. So again, guys, if you move a, if you move a customer, that customer should from now on be your customer. And so the reason they're not is because you don't have a retention plan in place to keep that customer on board, to keep that customer locked in with you, to not let them forget you, to not let them forget what service you offered them and, and how wonderful of an experience you gave to them. But you guys let them go. And then a year later, whenever they move out of the storage, out of the apartment, out of the home, whatever, uh, they call someone else. That shouldn't be the case. They should always call you back. And so I teach you how to retain your customers. Uh, there's a couple things I teach you that helps you to take your customers from customers to fans. That's how you retain your customers. You turn them into fans of your business. If they become a fan of your moving company, they will not call anybody else. They will call you first, right? They will call you first. And that's a fact. So I want you to practice retention and to turn your customers into fans. Again, real quick, five things that can help you to 10X your business in, and put your business in the scale growth fast lane. Get more leads from the right customers. Learn how to convert those leads into sales. Make, make money, right? Profit. Get the best reviews possible, right? I'll teach you how to get those reviews by filtering reviews. There's no reason bad reviews should ever make it to your online profile. The reason it is, you don't know how to filter it, right? And I'll teach you that. Bad reviews killing your business. I know, you're going to have to change your business name soon. You have to learn how to filter that, right? Referrals. Your one job should always lead to another job. It should never end there. When you walk out of that house, there should be a new job lined up. How? I'll teach you how to do that, right? And retention. Turn your customers into fans. So I hope 
something on here helps. Uh, I hope it helps you to grow your business. That's why I do this. Uh, I hope it helps you to grow your business. Grow, grow, grow. That's all we're thinking about is scale, scale, scale. Because uh, I always say, if you don't scale, you will fail. You can be out there. I know guys that I've coached and counseled uh, that's been in my master class and guys in their 50s still haven't scaled their business. A lot of you, you're in your 20s, 30s, and 40s. You got an opportunity to make a lot of money very quickly and build your business in a way where you don't do all the work. You don't do all the work, right? And I should teach that. I should teach you guys about that. You just take a model just like this and teach you. In a lot of situations, you, 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 you do everything in the business. What does that equal? Eventually, you're going to burn out. I guarantee it. And, and you're not even going to want money. Go back and watch some of my videos. I talk about that. But you don't want to burn out. So anyway, get into the 10x fast lane with your business. Grow your business as quickly as possible. That's going to make you successful. Systems, product, process, all that goes into it. People as well. And use these five things to build your business. In fact, that's a cheat sheet. You can start using that stuff right now. It's fine with me. I have no problem. I just want your business to grow as quickly as possible, right? So the link to the webinar is going to be in the first comment below. Uh, for everyone who wants to learn how to grow their business 10x fast lane style, uh, you want to get in the fast lane of growing your business, you can jump into the webinar that's coming up in about two weeks. Uh, for everyone else, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. Uh, if you want to get a consult, just drop consult in the uh, comments below. If you want to get in the master class, the webinar that's coming up, it's going to be a live training with me and you guys, and we're going to interact. We're going to have a great time. I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited because I love teaching. Uh, I, I, I'm not happy about the fact that I went through all of these things and I learned this stuff the hard way. I guess I am. I, I wouldn't say I'm happy about it. It was a hard, painful experience. I guess I'm happy I experienced it. I survived it. And now I get to share it with you so you don't have to make the mistakes I made. And your business can be 10 times more successful than mine is, right? All right. So hit subscribe, hit thumbs up. Welcome to the channel. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.